Well, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I figured I'd throw an update video of my torpedo heater running off of waste motor oil fed from my preheat tank just into a little container here. Uh, got this set at a certain rate, so it kind of kept the container filled the same amount as the unit's drawing. Um, as you can see, there's nothing going into the fuel fuel hole for the torpedo heater. It's drawing directly through this hose, which is just 100% just motor oil. Just heated up, preheated in my tank here. Let's see, I got a temperature to keep that oil burning in there enough to keep the flame sensor from tripping off. And let me tell you, it's putting out a ton of heat. There is, ah, yeah, you can't even keep your, your hand in front of it. I'd say probably three feet or so more back, it's still hot as hell. Believe it or not, I actually got this to fire up with just a little bit of uh, kerosene that happened to be left in the tank to start the initial burn and then flopped it right into the bucket. So, here's another video, it can be done. might have been the over temperature protection on the unit because it does have an over temperature protection in the in the torpedo heater and that's just because probably because I had the like I said I had the flame sensor set Let's see. I had the flame sensor set uh, pretty high I mean, hit up. Excuse me. Because of the flame sensor, I had to set the um, pressure really high on the back of this torpedo heater. Let's see if she'll fire. Yep. probably get it to run continuously if I would just get rid of the flame sensor but then it would never shut down if the flame went out so that kind of a uh, kind of sucks but with a little bit of tinkering and it works <laughs> 